Hey guys and welcome to Gadget Review. So there's a Mecha Godzilla trailer released and it's supposed to be the last one but who knows we had a few last trailers. Although the movie is coming just in a few days of me recording of this reaction so I can't wait guys it's almost here. Without further ado let's see because I've been told this has a lot of new shots so let's see how many. Oh boy. These are dangerous times. Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. Mm. We need calm. The world needs him. Stop what's coming. Through the entrance in Antarctica, we could help him find a new home. Oh wow. The myths are real. There was a war. And they're the last one standing. Oh boy. Who bows to who? Kong bows to no one. Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh, that is Mecha Godzilla. I Let's break down the trailer. That is beautiful, but what is going on here is like this is a flashback to ancient times or something like that. These are dangerous times. That's supposed to be making Godzilla there. He's hurting people and we don't know why. We need calm. The world needs him. I'm already annoyed by the two human factions that are going to argue about who should win and and why and how Godzilla is a bad guy and all those things where in the end of the day something else is gonna happen probably. So how can Kong be a good guy too and Godzilla is usually a good guy? I'm just wondering what is the reason for them to fight then. The previous trailer suggested they're enemies from ancient times. But they're both working for the good of humanity, they're both friends of humanity, so I can't wait to find out how they are going to elaborate on that, you know? And there was a war even. And they're the last one standing. And it seems like Kong is fighting those monsters uh, that are similar to the monsters in the previous movie, and those are also enemies of Godzilla, so Kind of looks like they should be friends in a way. I'm just speculating, guys, based on everything that we saw so far. Bows to no one. Hmm. Yeah, okay, he bows to no one, but how they coexisted before, you know, because they did reach modern times and they did survive, so how did that work? I mean, work out before. This is so massive. I'm kind of worried once again about those human characters. I've heard already from some early reviews that they're the most weak parts of the movie, which humans always are. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. That just amazing shot. And Mecha Godzilla, I don't know much about Mecha Godzilla, but that's gonna be cool to see for sure. Wow, how did humans even made this thing? This is extremely advanced technology. Oh, so some commentary from the team. One of the most the exciting team. things about doing a Godzilla movie is being able to take a different approach to Godzilla in the same way that the original films did. 
the legendary approach has always been sort of that Godzilla is a good guy. You know, he's misunderstood, but he's a good guy. And we're kind of flipping the world around and saying now a world where Godzilla has seemingly turned his back on humanity and is acting recklessly. The massive Titan, once thought to be a hero to humanity, made landfall in Pensacola, Florida. This film starts after three years since the last encounter with the Titans. And Godzilla is on the rampage again. Why, we don't know. There's a reoccurring motif in this movie of Godzilla sort of being equatable to Jaws. So even at the beginning of the film, you know, we wanted to treat it more like Jaws approaching the shores. Whoa. Oh, the music is awesome. Oh, wow. My absolute favorite thing that I was always looking forward to in the movies was Godzilla using his breath. I just thought that was the coolest thing every time you got to see it. And so I ended up pushing that a lot in this movie. Oh, thank you <laughs> for that. Whoa, so is he doing that to Kong? That of course, they're going to say that's going to be the most epic battle. Well, might as well could be. But okay, I like the commentary from the cast. It's all fine. At the same time, it's a bit cheesy. <laughs> but yeah, we'll wait and see, guys. We'll wait and see. Uh, so far, I think that they showed looks more than I could ever expect. They made the CGI amazing and the movie to look very good and very big. So hopefully that's gonna be the case. Just a few more days to go and we are going to see it. Let me know in the comments if you can watch it on the cinema or if you're going to watch it at HBO Max or whatever service you have. I have HBO Go now. So probably that's gonna be, I mean the movie is gonna be officially released there too for my country, but we'll see how that goes. I just really love what I see, so I'm excited. I cannot wait for next week. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you like to support me, you can check out my OnlyFans where I do my meaningful sex educational content, plus fitness and health, and some physique updates. For casual support, there's always Patreon and PayPal. And if you're a Warhammer fan of any kind, you, you can join my Golden Astartes server. Till next time, I've been Gary G Reviews, guys. Bye-bye.